Hey there, YouTube. Today I wanted to play something a little different. Uh, so I'm going to be playing a game called The Room. It's a puzzle game that I really enjoy. It's part of a series, so you're going to get to see more than just this game. I plan on doing the first two games today because they're not very long. And then the third one, which is a decent amount longer, I'll probably do Wednesday. And then there's a fourth game that I've never played before, uh, that I have. So maybe I'll do a stream on Saturday doing that. Um, other things I want to say, I finally got this picture, uh, up here, hung up. And, uh, another, like, right above my head, this one here. I got those hung up today. Um, but, for now... Let's start our journey in the room. All right, this is our tutorial. Click and drag the mouse to move around. Uh, let's see, double click on the envelope to focus on it. All right, slide the paper out. And now we get a key, a small brass key with an animal motif. All right, we can slide that around. Take the key, use it here, open this, flip this open. And now we have an eyepiece. The eyepiece lets us look at things. Uh, feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. A riddle. The solution must be here somewhere. Okay. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink. Oh, it's, uh, it's fire. Is there fire anywhere? Uh, Stusty old books, I don't think they'll help me here. Um, let's see here. This says, <clears throat> You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key uh, to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Signed, A.S. Okay, without a lens, it's just an ordinary eyepiece. Alright, well, I can't do that yet, because... What am I missing? So if I ever get stuck, there's a hint thing. Maybe there's a symbol on here that matches the riddle. Okay, so I'm looking for a symbol of fire. Like, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for fire, but... Oh, here we go. Down at the bottom. 
fire. Wood feeds it, but water puts it out. So we give it a push. It gives us a key. Uh, we can examine the key and rotate it. All right. So now we have this design that we need to make the key work for. So I think that's the right way. Yep. Okay, so this opens up this. I don't think these do anything else. Yeah. So... This is just going to say without a lens, it's an ordinary eyepiece. Okay, so there we have something we can unscrew. Earth, fire, water, and air. So the four elements. What's this going to tell me? A hidden keyhole. I already found that. Like, that's the hidden keyhole, yeah? Wait. Haha, <laughs> okay. So this is the screw, or the tool that'll let us unscrew this. There we go. This gives us the eyepiece lens. And now we can see mysteries. But more importantly, we can see that this should... Okay, I need to align them to the center. So there's one. Two. Three. And with that, we've opened the safe. And so, inside the safe is another safe and a box. So that's the first chapter. And this game does have chapters. But like I said, this game goes by pretty fast, especially if you have an idea for what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, so this looks like we have three locks we have to do. If we turn on our eyepiece, we can see that this has fingerprints on it. There we go. Uh, ornate leatherbound book. And, ooh, okay, here's another puzzle. We can see some numbers. Uh, five, two, seven, and I can't make out the bottom one. Okay, so that looks about all for right now. But more importantly, here we see the top right symbol here is the curly bottom cross, I'm going to call it. So that. Uh, here we see uh, 
boat with a tall mast. All right, so. Boat with a tall mast. We are still missing two symbols there. This is a thing. A miniature telescope. Hey, it unfolds. Okay. That leg is different from the rest. This leg has something on it. Ah, a short piece of cotton. Smells of paraffin. Oh, right. here's another symbol. A uh, poorly drawn target. It's in the top left. All right, so there's that, which means we only have one more symbol to find, and it's the bottom left symbol, which we could just brute force it at this point. Having three of the symbols makes it pretty easy. Oh, okay, here's where we're putting these numbers. All right, so we know two on top, seven on the right, five on the left. So let's go ahead and do these. Two on top, this is five, this is seven, and I couldn't, couldn't quite get what this number should be. I feel like I need to back away from this a little. Uh, uh, we'll come back to that. Make sure I got everything up here. All right, well... Like I said, we can brute force both of these. Hey, look, there we go. All right, so that gives us a key. And then this one, like I said, we can also... Yep. Knowing three of the four things makes it very easy to uh, start working on it, because like we're only missing one thing here. All right, so that gives us nothing, but we can place this here. I happen to know that, oh, not yet. Oh, you know what? We didn't look at the book. I bet you this book tells us things we need to know. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Uh, a small key for winding clockwork. February 11th. My research contains or er, continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all, but there is something there between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element, null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all of the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold. It is the pursuit of this. Okay. Good for you.
Here's another little note. February 11th, my research... Okay, this is what we just read. There we go. So now we have a wick, and we've lit it. We've raised it and lit this. So now what happens when we look in? Oh, okay, we're still missing something. Aha. Uh -huh. But the winding key lets us wind this. And now we've made a film. So what do we see? All right. Well, that's the box we're sitting at. Got a feeling there's more than what I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? Okay, so we wear the eyepiece, then we look. Trial. Yes, I, I can see that that says trial. Oh, hey. Right, once again, I need to be doing this to the middle. How is that wrong? Okay, well, that's right. That gives me an L. Which I probably... Yeah, I couldn't do this without the L. Alright, well, we know what these are all supposed to be. A. I. R. T. Okay, so that's one lockdown. And this opens a new section. What does this give me? Here's another note. May 8th, Mac uh, McAllister returns with the rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibetans called the null element space. To the Hindus, it is ether. And now, to the Babylonians, it is simply up. The other direction, the realm of Ishtar. Of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glyph. The same symbol repeats in cultures separated by countless centuries and span of the globe. Who will tell me now that this is the idle superstitions at work? When my hands hold the first distilled sample, they will recognize me then. Presently, the skeptics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. Okay. Ah. I can do something with this. What can I do with this? Why is it letting me... I can see that this is clearly supposed to be something. Oh. Two, three. That might be important later. Well, that certainly doesn't go there. Uh, here we go. There we go. And 
screen. All right, so anytime we see this like kind of fluorescent-y glow, like bluish green, little rainbow-y kind of glow, we know that that means that's something we can look at with the lens. And so now this takes on a slightly different shape. We rearrange to make the shape of that design and something has opened. All right, we put in the key, we slide out the drawer, and we get a different key. This key looks like it'll go here. And sure enough, it does. We got a star. Whoa. Okay. Uh, what can I do with you? Nothing. But we did see a star up here. All right. June 21st. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I've done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. The null element is beyond curious, being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. Okay. We got a gold guy, we got a silver guy, we have a dial, and we've got another thing that we can interact with. All right, well, we have the dial, so let's go ahead and slap that on there. So that looks like it says 2, 3. Two, three, four, six. There we go. Oh, okay. Two, three. Three, two. Two. One. Okay, well, I guess it was two and six. I wonder if the other answer was on this side. Nope. Oh, it's up there. Two and five. Okay. So that makes sense. And with this, we got a, ooh, a key that we're going to use here. So we need to make this pattern. So let's look at it dead on. So, something like that? No. Okay, so, oh, hey, there we go. Now we have the symbol for it. I was just backwards. All right, this gives us a circular plate with a star emblem. Do I not get to open that? Okay, I didn't need anything else out of there, I guess. Uh, here. I guess we're done with that portion of this box. Yep, and there we go. We've unlocked a second. Now we just need this third one, which we can clearly see this symbol here, this gear signal or symbol. 
is the same as this gear symbol. So this should be the last puzzle for unlocking this. All right, well, that'll turn that way. Oh, boy, we got lots of stuff over there and lots of stuff over here. Okay, so... That's a thing. That's also a thing. Oh, okay. Ah, there's where we need our symbols. Okay, so we need this symbol to be, well, here's one right here. This needs to be there. We need the one that we saw the pentagon shaped one to be in the upper right. So that'll be there. And now we're missing one more that, if I'm not mistaken, is this one up here? Yeah. And now this drawer should be unlocked. An elastic band and a large cog. Good, good, good. Large cog will go there. Elastic band. Nowhere. A screwdriver. And we've started turning one of the three gears. Alright, well, screwdriver we can use on this. There we go. Unscrew that. Put on this one. Unscrew that. Put it on this one. Unscrew that. One last one. There we go. Okay, so we got our folding key. Oh boy. Uh... Right. Where do we use this? Here? No. I think we already did that one. It's bound to be... It's bound to be this, yeah? Oh, hello. That's not right. We already did that. That was the eye test. That, all right, that's what it was. This was the key chest. So we, we've done those. Oh, hello. Okay. So that can give me... So, T on top, and then... These need to be like this. Haha. -ha. A medium sized cog. All right, with this, we should be able to place this here. Okay. There we'll open up our second one. It gives us another medium-sized cog. Which, I did see it said we could take this one off. We can now put these on here. And rubber band them. And rubber band them. And there's our third one. 
So that gets that turning, which now when we push this button, it'll raise that gear. And now this turns. And a long, narrow steel tube. Hmm. Double check and make sure I didn't miss anything with any of this stuff. Doesn't look like I have. Is this... Aha. And an old photograph. Okay, so this will unlock this now. There we go. A small silver shield. What's in the photograph? Uh, Revelation 605. Look at this photograph. All right, so silver shield. Do you want this? No. Do you? who aren't holding anything want this? Yes. Oval gemstone. All right, the gemstone, looks like it'll go here. Hey there, Mel. And then because we saw this, yeah, okay. So we saw that picture said Revelation 6, 5, so 6. Five. Five? There we go. And there's our third lock undone. You know what? I think I can... Let's see here. I'll move myself back down here because there's nothing really going down in this corner. And this way, chat will show up, not overlaid over top of me. All right, so now we've unlocked what was the top of the box. Now has more puzzle. Uh, here, let's start with this. Oh, right. Not that one. I want this one out. Bring it around, drop it down there. Oh, well, that's all I can do with that. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Uh, okay, let's give this a quick look around. This has a thing on it. Yeah. What did this do? Opened a box. We got another note. Our note four of seven. July 15th. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I'm increasingly convinced that it's somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it, but I'm fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. And a small box with a puzzle on top. So let's go ahead and mess with this. So here we'll do our... Ooh, nope, can't do that one yet. Uh, come on, go up to the top. There we go. And then... What is it? This one? Yeah. Move this along. Uh, doo -doo. 
Where are you at? Where am I going with this? Aha. There we go. And this gets us a key. All right, so with this key, that is just a normal key. There's no secrets to the key. No. Okay. Where do we have a keyhole? Nowhere. Back to looking through the magic lens. Yeah, we already messed with that. Oh. Well, hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay, so this is now unlocked. All right, so we're going to go down five. And then four, five, four. All right, that was easy enough. And we get, uh, oh, a frame for a piece of paper. I like this photo. Look at that photograph. A small square pig. Oh, hey. Wow, that photograph turned into a movie. Sigil. Also, the photograph changed now to show sigil. What's the back of this look like? So I know where to put it. It's a square peg. Okay. So not there. And it didn't look like I can put it there. Nothing up here that uses it. What are you? Cool. Definitely don't know that yet. We did that. So that's done. A star shaped indentation. Can I? Do anything with this? Cause like I feel like I feel like this would almost go right here. But I can't Oh, there we go. Hey, this opened up this, which we know what this is. S I G I L Ooh A crystal emanating a strange light Uh here Not there Here
here. There we go. And now this will focus its light, which I can pinpoint and get a tiny weighted flywheel. Cool. How does that help me? Oh, so we're looking for something with a cross shape plug, perhaps. There's nothing on this, yeah? No. We still haven't found anything for this yet either. We still need something for that. This won't go here, yeah? No. And I can't do anything with this just yet? Nope. Okay. So then I'm still missing something. I don't think I read this yet. Okay. July 29th. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of a null element, I fashion lenses from it to where one is troubling and exhausting in equal measures. I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. And then some pictures of things that I don't know what those are. Okay. Ah, here we go. Gives us handles. We can pull this out. We get a device. Sounds like there's an old one under the wine cellar. You don't even know. A hexagonal piece of map. Okay, so we, we know that the map piece will go in here, but before I do that, this says it reflects, uh, reflects, bleh, refracts light. So this will power these. You're not wrong. Can I not rotate this? I guess not. So I have to figure out this thing first. All right, well. There's our hexagonal piece of map. Gives us a crank. Okay. Yeah, you're you're not wrong, Mel. But you're not quite right. Um in this first game, they don't make it very clear what's going on. But by the time we get to future games, uh, it does become more clear. Okay, so we are going to be making the same hexagonal shape that we always make. How? There we go. And 
And now, an intricate wooden box. Oops, let's get a look at this box. There we go. Uh, line up these. And now the box has opened. Now that it is a star shaped, where did we see? Here we go. The star shaped thing. We can put the box there. That'll open this, which is a full on telescope. Oop. It's okay. I want this now. What am I looking at here? I know what I'm supposed to be seeing, but I don't know how I'm supposed to interpret this. One, two, three. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I seeing that right? Because I think it, it applies to this. Should have been like no. What am I? One, two. I feel like I'm not quite there yet. I feel like I got to do more things, specifically things involving this. That didn't do anything. Okay. Cool. Well, then. I can't change that anymore. I can't do anything with this. Uh... Focus on the sides of the box for now, okay. I don't have any more items to use. And we only opened up one of those. That's done. That's a note we've already read. It's gotta be something with this so What's going on? What am I missing here? I've pretty much done everything there. I can't open up this side because I opened up this side, which led to that, which led to this, which I don't know what to do with that. And this just says I should focus on the sides. And I don't think it'll let me. Yeah, it won't let me do anything with that. I don't have this key that's like a weird key to start with that yet. All right, what am I missing? What do the buttons in the hatch below the light do? That's a good question. That's what I've been trying to figure out. Okay. Any noticeable changes? I don't see any. And then when it's done, it flips. Oh. Okay, well. 
this open this uh got it all right star shaped piece of map to bet I think okay so that was it just the one oh no I can still do the other one okay so now what does this do here we go uh, we go back to this side we do this one and we get there's the key tool okay so let's go ahead and place our piece of the map to bet they think gave me nothing uh, so we know that this is going to be the four looking shape on top the weird like chair with a wall and then that's gonna be like a f <laughs> oh okay well this just gives it to me perfect uh, I don't think that one goes anywhere. I don't think I don't think that one goes anywhere. That's clearly that one. All right. Well, that's that. And that's that. So then these two would just stay in here, or three, I guess, would just stay in there. So then it doesn't fit like that. I don't think that's right, but I can give it a shot. No. <laughs> oh, this one's not right. What? What are you? What's going on with you? It has to be that. But I feel like that's too tall. Did I just have these two backwards? I did. Okay. And now it fits. And it just pulls it apart and gives us the other refracting device. So now we can go over here, attach this to this side. Uh, ooh, okay. Reflecting lasers. And there we now are lighting up the rest of this. Hey, there we have stars. Okay, so now I bet you when we look through that telescope, it's going to show us the stars that we need. All right, this said it was part of South America. Let's go ahead and drop this in. And that leaves us now with just the one left, the square. So let's go ahead and look through the telescope. So it's an X and then one extra. Got it. So now we go down to this. That opens this. There's our last piece of the map. And our sixth note. August 9th. 
The circle were right all along. How could I have been so blind? I have discovered a passage in their scriptus noctae, an incantation lacking the energy source to drive it. Well, I have such a source. This night I summon Astaroth, whom the Babylonians called Ishtar, prince of accusers and inquisitors, and he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null element can be mine. I can barely contain myself. There is so much to prepare. Okay, that sounds like a bad idea, but you know what? You, uh, you, you do you, buddy. All right, so that's the fourth thing open. Pull the lever. And we move to the top board. All right, chapter complete. Pleasing progress, but do you really think you've proven yourself yet? Okay. Can I push the button? I can't push the button. I can't mess with the star thing. Uh, ooh, I bet you I can mess with this. Alright, so I just have to line up these things. Is it just all the way around? Yeah. Alright, that gives me a crank. And the last note. August 15th, something is wrong. I followed the incantation of the very letter. Astaroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had. More questions. The visions have increased. They gather to me, and I cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them, but the lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed a solution for the pain. For those that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human sphere with which to explain it. This house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. You, uh, you probably shouldn't have done that, buddy. Oh, all right, this will turn these. Okay. Well, we've seen this kind of thing work before. It's going to rotate into something. Sure. The sword constellation. Can I... Oh. Hello. Ooh. How do I move you? I see what I'm trying to line up there. Oh, that does nothing anymore. Uh, okay. Can I... Ta-da! Hey, I got the dagger. And that tells me the dagger can be placed in here. And now we get a planetarium. Oh boy. Am I 
I looking at this right? What am I seeing? What's this doing? What is going on here? I'm still missing something for this. And it looks like this is my only puzzle. Do we have anything? We do. All right, so what is this? Huh. What am I missing? What are you going to tell me? Curse look back for service. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you. I noticed the set of buttons. Boy, these hints are mighty helpful. I see these arrows, but I think that's for a later thing. Oh, hey, there we go. Stairs leading down. All right. Hey. And this moves us to the next constellation. The eye? The eye. This stuff is moving. Is it just, oh, hey, you get a new thing. Oh, interesting, another set of dots too. Okay, so it's a Y. That stopped it. And now I can make the symbol. A large gold amulet. Which if I look at the back of... Oh, okay. It is this. I was say it should be this design here. It is. All right. Where's the thing? Okay. What am I looking at? What is this supposed to be doing? Oop. Not what I want. I want to line up those two arrows. What do you do for me? Oh! Hello! Okay. So let's look at another arrow. Let's see here. We'll look like there. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's going to be dot, dot, dot. So on this, it'll be... And then 
what was this one? Dot at the top. That's not what I wanted. Dot at the top. And so now I just need to go back to the original one. And see what it was. It is two dots. A. Hey. And so with this, we have the energy source harnessing the null element. And we move on to the next constellation. It's the constellation for the null element. All right, what we got? Okay. And we've now passed through here. Interesting. Can I move these? Yes, I can. Power source? Power source goes down. And this opens a door. And the chapter is complete. And so we make it to another box. Where on earth am I? A queer sense of movement, not quite turning, not quite falling. I felt myself cross the threshold and the visions abated. Perhaps it only served to drive me to this place. The route back closes behind me, but a way forward opens ahead. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never came. I pray you are just another of my dreams. Okay. Yeah, I hear you, uh... You drew the null element. Good for you, buddy. It's a one, two, and a three. Uh, we did see in this note the piano keys. So I will remember those if they come up. I guess let's, uh, ooh, here we go. Did this do for me? Ah, a gear. <laughs> Two to the one to the one to the three. Great old ones better not bother me. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it might be slightly the other way around i think we might be bothering some great old ones uh what do i see here okay so this is just going to connect to a triangle thing is this a triangle thing this is not so that won't go there <laughs> Shh. <laughs> they need to stay their asses asleep Boy, do they. Luckily, we won't get into that in this game. 
All right, where am I looking at? I thought I saw a spot to put a gear somewhere. Possibly I'm just going crazy? Wait. Button. 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 Are these rotating these things? I don't think they are. Oh. Okay. Can I see things in there? No. I'm not sure that I have the solution to that yet. I still don't quite know what this is doing. I don't have the answer to that yet. It's not what I want. Can I? Can't do anything with those. Two small holes suggesting something's missing. That's definitely not it. Hmm. Oh. Dur -dur -dur. Can this go here? There we go. And one. Flip a little switch. It opens a little thing. And we get a metal orb. What am I looking for on you? Oh, okay. I guess I just didn't have that right the first time. Hey, there's the... Yeah, the square gear. Okay. And, oh, hey, this also tells us this now. So we've got... Uh, oh, gosh, what is that? That's a... Uh, Metallica album cover, Weird S, and Jesus Christ Super Tail. I didn't even look at the order that those are in. Okay, so I don't even think that's Metallica. I, you know which one I'm talking about. The one with the, the light reflecting through the prism. Uh, so, album cover, Jesus Christ Super Tail, Weird S. Got it. A coin. Okay, and now we can put in the square. 
This will open this drawer. Yeah. Uh, some tarot cards. Sure. Um, yeah, nothing about the coin. But this... Oh, boy. There we go. Sure. Then I wonder... Oh, I saw that. Haha. <laughs> A key. And then I need to go back to this one. Raise that up. Yes, I know. Cool. And then back to this one to get what was in the bottom here. A metal plate. If we look at the metal plate, it has two squares. So where did I see that? Here. Which gives us a handle, which opens this. Oh, hey, this is this thing. There's a coin we need. Creepy. Oh. I must have just like slightly clicked off of it. This gives us two metal handles. We are music masters. Okay, so it looks like our key can go here. Opens this up. We see a three is supposed to be a thing. Can I zoom in on that more? I cannot. Um, that doesn't look like it tells me anything. None of this looks like it tells me anything. Can I cannot use the metal handles on that? I will come back to that. Is there anything else that I've been missing off of this? Yeah, we already did that. We already did all this. Wait. 
No. It's just like spots on the like inner rug thing. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in there. What am I looking at with this? They're octagon shaped. I can't move these. I don't see anything that would notice me about what the other two things should be. What are you going to tell me? Uh, expose more of the rotating cylinder. Okay, and so it talks about this. Okay, so then it must mean this. Right, okay. I see. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, spider web and bleeding eye. Nope, this one. Okay, so this one is bleeding eye. And then spider web. There we go. What did that do for me? Aha! Buttons. Numbers. And... Oh, boy. Okay. I see. Five, seven, three. Let's give it a try. Five, seven, three. A. Hey. Goodbye, glowy crystals. Ha. Ah, this is what we need the handles for. Oh. So now, yes. Interesting. It's like a Rubik's Cube mixed with a slide puzzle. Uh, does this get me... Oh, here we go. That's one more. And then this is the last one. Yeah. Interesting. All right, well, it gets me a red gem in a plate, which I know where that goes. Also, it looks like we opened one lock on this. Oh, boy. Okay, so yeah, this clearly is going to go into this. So 
So let's just go ahead and drop that in there. Do, 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 do. Oh, interesting. What am I doing here? Move these up here. And then I can move all that there. Now, I have unrestricted access to all three. All right, so there's the green gem. Because I basically set this up, I made it real easy to get all three. And there's the blue gem. Okay, so now we're going to put these in here. Oh, and they can be removed. Oh boy. So it looks like blue is not quite right. What if I do this? Now look through it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so then what if I swap these two? Interesting again. What if I swap? These two. A. And that's the two things, which now lets us open. Oh, didn't quite give that enough. There we go. And now we have the Gem Slider Music Puzzle. And there goes the first one. Oh, -ho. Oh, there it is. The symbol I'm supposed to be making. And that opens up the next gem. All right, 
Okay, so that clearly doesn't go to that. Did I just go back to the beginning? I'm fairly certain I did. All right. Ah. In it goes. Okay. That's right. I need to do this. Find our glowy pattern. Oh, this one I can rotate. Interesting. There it is. And our doorway is opening. Game complete. You've made it through, unflustered I hope, as there will surely be sterner tests to come. You have taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There is no way back. Not for any of us. For now, you are as trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. And like that, we have completed the room one. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna end this recording for this video here, but I'm gonna immediately start into the room two. And that recording will be going up right alongside this one. So see you guys in just a moment. I hope you enjoyed this video.